What's going on, my people? Hey, look, in the last couple of days, an old topic has come back to the surface in the gaming industry, particularly on social media, and that is PlayStation guys still being all emotional about the fact that Starfield is not going to come to PlayStation. Now, if you're, especially if you're a casual, you might be sitting back kind of wondering, like, other than the fact that it looks like it could possibly be an awesome game, it's not you know, it's not like it's not something we've never heard of, you know, a game that's going to be exclusive to a console. Usually they are exclusive to PlayStation, but sometimes we do get some exclusives to Xbox. And you may be wondering like, man, what's the big deal? Why are they making a big deal of this? Why does this subject keep resurfacing? Well, one of the things that I've noticed that rarely ever comes up when I'm watching these different videos and I'm, and I'm, on, I'm on different social media platforms, when discussing this topic is the fact that according to Imran Khan, who is, you know, a very prominent person on kind of funny games that Starfield was originally supposed to be a PlayStation exclusive. Now he said more than likely it would have been a timed exclusive, which I believe, I don't think that, I don't think that uh, PlayStation would have shelled out enough money, especially given light of everything that we just recently found out about their, you know, how they fund their games or whatnot. Uh, financially, things are not as great over there as many people believed when it came comes to the funding of their games. According to Sony, uh, you know, they need COD in order to fund their AAA exclusives. You know, a lot of the money they use to fund those games comes from COD. Now, that's according to PlayStation. I don't know. Some people are theorizing that they're lying. You know, I don't know. And plus, I, I think that Bethesda would have, I, I don't think they would have given up all of that money that they could have made on the Xbox if it also went to the Xbox. I just, I don't believe they would have done a permanent exclusive. Uh, I think at most, I think it would have, it, they probably would have given them a year. And to be honest, I really don't even think they would have done that because usually Bethesda likes everyone to be able to play their games. They want their games on all platforms. But look, one of the things that people aren't, aren't, aren't bringing up is this and that's the reason why a lot of playstation guys are you know it, it seems very very odd but the reason why they're acting like this is because originally it was supposed to be their exclusive and at the last moment just as negotiations were going on according to Imran khan like i said this guy is very connected and over at kind of funny those guys love them some playstation okay they love them some playstation They've been in the business for years and they have many contacts over at PlayStation. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this article. Starfield releasing on PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 almost happened, with Sony reportedly trying to negotiate a deal with Bethesda for Starfield before yesterday's acquisition of Bethesda and parent company Zenimax Media by Microsoft. The claim was made by Kind of Funny reporter and host Imran Khan who reported that Sony had been negotiating a timed exclusivity period for Starfield as recently as a few months ago. At the time of this writing, it's anyone's guess as to how the acquisition of Bethesda by Microsoft has affected the negotiation between Bethesda and Sony for Starfield, but we'd assume it would probably affect it a fair bit. It's not hard to imagine two scenarios. Firstly, talks for Starfield's exclusivity could be entirely off the table now with the Microsoft acquisition. Alternatively, as Khan notes, Sony could be still negotiating for a time exclusivity period, but Starfield's price might have just shot through the ceiling with the acquisition. We can't say we're too surprised by the news that Sony was attempting to negotiate a timed exclusivity for Starfield though, considering it has successfully secured a similar deal for Bethesda games Deathloop and Ghostwire Tokyo. So I'm just going to leave it right there, guys, because that's the, you know, everything I've read so far is, is pertinent to the topic we're talking about in this video. But for those of you who want to read the article in its entirety, I will put it in the bottom of the video. The article is uh, an article that was written by Hiram Cryer. I guess I'm not desecrating that name. I don't know if I am, uh, you know, forgive me. But uh, it was written in, in uh, on October 11th of 2022 so it's an old article but it goes back to the subject sometimes we have to we have to look back in order to get answers as to why strange things may be going on now because i know that a lot of people are probably looking at it like you know hey look i understand that the game might you know look like it's going to be an awesome game or whatever but you guys have tons of awesome games over there for yourselves over there on the playstation what is the big deal with Starfield, why are you tripping? It's not even out yet. It could be a total failure for all we know. Why are you tripping like this? 
And this is why, because originally it was supposed to come out on the PlayStation as a timed exclusive. So to, to me, I hear too many people talking about this subject and they're they're acting like they're trying. They're on the side of, yeah, you know, Microsoft needs to put this on PlayStation. And they talk about, the you know, this subject for like 15 to 30 minutes and they never mention this. And to me, I think you're having a dishonest conversation from the beginning when you can talk that long about this subject and never bring up the fact that start that uh, PlayStation was originally trying to get it as an exclusive on PlayStation. So, I mean, for me, I, you know, I think it should just stay exclusive, period, uh, given the, the, the environment that, that we're in, you know, in the uh, gaming industry. I mean, you know, look, exclusives are just a, a, a part of it. It's just the way it is. Now, I, I do believe that people should be able to play games everywhere. That's what I believe personally. But if I was running a company right now, I would have no choice but to have some awesome exclusives on my hardware or in my system because that's just how the industry is. And guess who does this more than anyone? It's PlayStation. So you're not going to be able to compete with PlayStation without any exclusives. If you go out there and put your games everywhere and they're putting their awesome games only on PlayStation, you're going to lose. So, like I said, I just don't see how you can have a conversation, especially one that's extensive. You're talking for 15, 30 minutes or whatever. Uh, some people probably even talking about it longer than that. And you can talk that long about it and never bring this up. I just I think if you do that, I think you're being dishonest and you're just being a fanboy. But hey, guys, look, we're going to go ahead and cut the video right there. Hope you enjoyed it. Many of you may have already known about this. Many of you may have not. I've just been noticing that a lot of the conversations that I've seen about this doesn't bring this topic up. And to me personally, I just think that's kind of odd. Hey guys, look, the YouTube algorithm is brutal. So if you can like the video, make a comment down in the bottom, be respectful. And if you get some time, share the video, please help support the channel, help me grow the channel. And hey guys, I'll see you soon, man. Man, I cannot wait for Starfield to come out. You see me putting a lot of different stuff on the channel. But man, when Starfield comes out, it's going to be all about Starfield, man. And, you know, occasionally I might get into something else because, you know, I'm going to be playing Starfield so much. I'm, I know I'm going to have to take a break from it. So and that's the beautiful thing about gaming. We got a lot of great games to play. But hey, guys, as usual, stay safe.